Well, water is the major factor, economic factor out here in western Kansas. Uh, it basically drives everything. The water keeps our local economy going, our feedlot and our hog facilities. If we lose them, you know, then we'll lose maybe our hospitals and uh, schools. If we don't have a robust economy, then we don't have our kids coming back, our population shrinks. Everything revolves around water. Well, without water, you don't have a community. Plies are the main wetland feature that we have out here in western Kansas. And they are the main recharge point of the High Plains Aquifer, the Ogallala Aquifer. And when those are no longer functioning in a natural state, they're not efficiently recharging the aquifer. The goal to preserve the aquifer or water resource touches every person that lives in this part of the country, whether they're involved with agriculture or not. And so to be able to recharge the aquifer is a big deal to us because that just produces sustainability and longevity, um, not only for us, but the next generation and the next after that too. The purpose of the Municipal Water Initiative is to try to help sustain the water supply for uh, communities, especially in western Kansas where the Ogallala Aquifer is running low and uh, projected to be out of water in 50 to 70 years. Well, playas are a big factor in the recharge. What's important for people to realize is that they do recharge at a rate that is beneficial to municipalities, the family farm, and anybody living on the landscape in a sustainable way. They're collecting water from a very large watershed and that, that water becomes focused through the bottom of the playa. So the amount of recharge through the basin of the playa is 10 to 100 times more than the surrounding landscape. Our standard figure is a playa recharges about three inches of water towards the aquifer a year. If you take that and put it on a four acre playa, that's three inches of recharge across four acres, that's essentially one acre foot of water when the playa is wet. And one acre uh, foot of water is about 326,000 gallons. That's enough water to provide a family of four a source of clean drinking water for a couple years. Once a ply is going through the wet and dry cycle and the clay has actually cracked, you can have a thunderstorm event that will drop three or four inches of water on the playa, and the playa collects water from the entire watershed, and that focused water goes to the clay, binds the cracks, and makes its way towards the aquifer, and that, that's how the recharge happens. Healthy plies have a, a few um, basic um, characteristics. One, the basin doesn't have pits or modifications in it. It doesn't have sediment in it. And then the playa itself is surrounded by a good vegetative buffer, usually grass. There are many benefits to plyas. Um, the recharge, the increased water quality, flood retention and storage, wildlife benefit. Because the wildlife congregate there, they also have a recreational benefit. More and more we're finding out that playa conservation is a system. The way that people benefit from the recharge, the way that families benefit from the clean water, the way the family operation, whether it's grazing or farming, benefits from flies. Plies are just one aspect of it. Uh, maybe cutting back on the irrigation or retiring some of these irrigation wells so we have sustainable water for these communities I think is a big factor. The mindset has really changed, especially in the last five years. I, th I think a big percent of the people using water realize we have to start saving. We work a lot with the Kansas Geological Survey and the data they've collected, they're thinking with 20-25% reduction in water use, we may get this to a sustainable level. 
used to be we thought we had to shut off three-fourths of the irrigation wells to get there. One landowner said it best when he said, if we can get to sustainable with irrigation, then your ply has become very, very important. And he was right about that. These ply lakes do contribute to uh, Ogallala recharge, and especially around some of these communities, they're wondering like, where are we going to get water a hundred years from now? And these things could uh, seriously play a uh, role in solving that problem. We're trying to be very, very clear with our message is that playas can't save these communities, but they can contribute to the community's goals. Whether we're affecting the wildlife, agriculture production, or community municipalities, school systems, Regardless, the primary resource we're going to rely on is the water. And this is one step we as human beings can take to help preserve that resource. I do believe that as, as uh, stewards of this land, we absolutely can make a difference and maybe prolong or turn the tide on that decline. I guess I'm a lot more optimistic than I used to be. 15 years from now, I'll be able to tell you a lot more, but we're really pretty confident this is going to get us to where we want to be.